In their never-ending search for the miracle weapon, CIA operatives searched here in the remote mountain areas of southern Mexico for what up to then had been considered a myth, magic mushrooms. They used this man, a part-time chemist with the CIA, to dupe this man, a vice president of a bank and an amateur mycologist or mushroom expert, to try to get to the magic mushrooms and turn them into a drug. But it would be the amateur, R. Gordon Wasson and his colleagues, who would win the race and develop the drug psilocybin from the magic mushrooms. We went into the Mazatec area, far from the highways, remote from Mexico City. There we found that rotten bagasse, as it's called, bagasso, covered with mushrooms. These mushrooms I didn't know, didn't never, had never seen. They were the sacred mushrooms. Wasson would also discover and record the ancient mystical rites of the mushrooms from a local shaman or magical priestess, Maria Sabina. And we were seeing incredible sights. They would go slowly or they would go fast as I ordained. All your senses are rendered acute. We say that you see visions, you see hallucinations, but th that doesn't uh, begin to tell the story. The hallucinations are only part of it. You hear sounds, you smell things. The, uh, the, the night was thrilling. Word of Wasson's discovery reached the CIA quickly. Dr. James Moore, a University of Delaware chemist, secretly served the CIA preparing deadly chemicals on short notice. Moore was instructed to get close to Wasson and accompany him on another trip to Mexico to get the magic mushrooms. Internal documents show the CIA felt a drug derived from the mushrooms could remain an agency secret.